Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault here today. Thanks for joining me. We are back on our Nomad Sky run as we uh, run around on our little cool badass robot character. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and try and locate our first freighter tonight. So, wish me luck. Let's cue up the music and we'll get right to it. So we've got a little more than three hours into the game now. So at three hours and five warp jumps, we will locate our first freighter battle. And that will allow us to get our first freighter for free. So now the first freighter usually sucks. It's usually just a regular old freighter, not a nice capital ship like you see the big Sentinel Dreadnought or the big Star Destroyer looking one. It's usually just a regular old uh, freighter, one of the common ones you see in any system. But in any case, we're going to try and locate one. So let's get to warping, right? Now, I don't remember if I. Yeah, I did put in the thing, the economy scanner. So we'll be able to hopefully find a three star system or a pirate system. Either one will work. We don't have a lot of distance we can go, unfortunately, uh, because, you know. We don't have a really good warp drive yet. So we're going to be severely limited on how far we can travel. And we're probably not on our fifth jump anyway. I think this is going to be like our third. So we may have to jump a couple times. And as you can see, we've got a couple of uh, pirate systems, but they're just out of jump range. So the trick is going to be to get close to those. Maybe this? Nope. That? That works. None of those work. Alright, well this one it is. And if this is the fifth jump, then well, we'll have to just see what we get. So more than likely we're not going to get a capital ship this time around, which is fine. We'll just have to wait a couple more episodes before we can get one. Um, but at least we'll get the first battle out of the way and be done with that. And then we know we'll have a better chance of getting a freighter afterwards. So good, it wasn't this jump, so that's good to know. We'll head over to the space station real quick, uh, tweak out our suit a little bit, just see what's going on here. Then we're going to head to a pirate station. Got a little bit of nanites. I don't know if I have enough to buy an S-Class module or not. I, don't, I think they're in the 900 range for warp drive, but if I can buy one for the warp drive, I will. If not, then, well, it is what it is. I only have a couple of those. Yeah, I really don't have anything that I can make a major amount of nanites out of, so I'm kind of stuck there. But, you know, it is what it is right now. It's okay. Let's go ahead and pull our upgrade. And yeah, we're still just under five, 6 million units, so that's cool. Once we get to another pirate system and run some missions, we will be able to start making a little bit more money. And once we start finding Sentinel ships and selling them, we should make some decent money and nanites, I would think, right? We'll see. And in for knife module. 605, okay. So yeah. Nothing, nothing we really want here. And what are we looking at here? We've got 20% left, so we could do one more jump. We do have this warp hypercore, which will help us make it to another system, so that's good at least. Um, we've got a pirate system, though. Maybe we'll get an X module that's good. Hopefully, we'll get lucky with that. We should be in range of some X module or some uh, pirate systems now. If I remember correctly, they were like right over here somewhere. If 
Hello, where were you? Let's see, that's us. Come on. I know you're out there, buddy. I know you're out there. Until that, until that warp drive gets built up. There's a three-star dissonant deck system. Well, that's worth a look. Yeah, that's definitely worth a look. Doesn't look like we're going to get a freighter battle, though. Alright, maybe we are. Hold on. Yeah, we got to save the fleet. Alright, where's the fleet? No, 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 no. Where the hell's the fleet, man? Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, man, you usually come right up on them. But yeah, as you can see, this is a pretty crappy uh, fleet here. Nothing special. This is the lead ship here, I believe. No, maybe it's not. What the hell? Bottom part of it. All right, we'll go ahead and just pull in our landing. Wow. Maybe we'll just die here. Oh, come on! This can't be happening. <laughs> what the hell, dude? All right, so what we're gonna have to do is just reload the autosave because. We screwed that up immensely. I don't know how we clipped into the ship there, but that'll give us another opportunity to jump. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we'll be in the same system. I don't know. Depends on that last autosave and exactly when it occurred. But damn, that was terrible. All right, yeah, we're still in the system, so let's try this again. This is the ship up front here. Get a little better lineup this time when we come in. There we go. I think we came in so fast and at such an angle that it just didn't didn't work for us. It's a nice A class, but crappy, crappy freighter. But we're still going to go up, and we're going to request payment instead. And that will still allow us to get the first freighter for free. There's the captain. Hello, captain. We'll take the payment, thank you. Nice little cargo bulkhead for when we do get a real freighter. Handful of nanites, which will help. And a little bit of gold. We got bumped up with the Gek. Wow, lots of ships here. Alright, we'll head on over to the space station. And I think this was a dissonant system, if I remember correctly, right? Doesn't say it here. Well, again, we're going to stop in and get our little thing for our uh, suit 
Probably 10,000 now. And we're going to scan these planets if we have a corrupted planet. Maybe we'll land and uh, give it a look around and see, you know, just exactly what's going on there. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, last episode, I think it was, we figured out the better way to make nanites early, so it's a good thing. Damn, that was pricey. Alright, so what do we got here, buddy? Talk to me. Infra knife. <clears throat> Could get a hyperdrive one, but I really don't want to spend the nanites on a A class when I know I'll be finding S classes and X classes soon. So that's enough of that. I think our warp drive is empty, so let's go ahead and Technology give it a recharge. nice warp core. And again, we'll check out the planets real quick. So I wonder if we can kill sentinels in any system. If it'll give us the echo locator or whatever it's called. The dreadnought thing. AI. Dreadnought AI, I believe it's called. <clears throat> Good here. Corrupted Sentinels, baby, on a sub zero planet. Sounds like so much fun. Get to go freeze our little cojones off. So, we got a decent multi tool. Nothing spectacular. 5,000 on damage. <coughs> Excuse me. Not the best I've seen, but definitely not the worst either. And look at this, we're going to run out of fuel. There we go. Sub-Zero. Yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't mind killing the Sentinels on the planet and getting the Echo thing, but I just don't think we have the weaponry or the armor to actually hold up against them, so kind of a frustrating thing to do right now, but we could try. We can also look around and just see if we get lucky with a ship. Nice oh, little drop pod. Cycled unit, huh? Coldest temperature, yay! I get a little runaway mold from it, okay. Put that on the ship for now. And I don't have enough Atlantidium, so can't really do anything with that. I believe our ship recharges, right? Yeah. Good, so we don't have to worry about running a ship out of fuel for launching if we get caught in a pickle, so that's good to know. Let's go ahead and mine these big boys. This gets us a lot of uh, nanites real quick. These radiant shards. And we'll just look around for a little bit here. See what we come up with. We gather a little oxygen because, you know, oxygen is the source of everything in this game. Hmm. 
we do have some of those radiant things over here. I can see it up on the compass up top there. You see the little purple crystals? In the compass, that leads you to these things. Look at that animal. Looks like a ball of snakes. What the hell, man? That thing is crazy looking. And what do we have over here? Oh, okay. Look at this. Metal fingers. So this... Oh, and there's a drop pod. Wow, all kinds of stuff going on here. Alright, well, we'll head down to the drop pod in a second. But first, let's get these. I think we'll be able to beat the drop pod real easy, or be able to get it real quick. I think it's just so badass looking. Well, here, if you want, if you want to come get this animal, there's the uh, down in the bottom left-hand corner. There's the glyphs for this planet. So if you want that, come get it, man. It's pretty cool looking. And we got a blizzard coming. Wonderful. But we got a cave we could chill out in for a minute, so that's good. All right. I forget what it takes to do this. Sodium nitrate. One carbon nanotube. One antimatter housing. Yeah, we gotta do it like this. Good. Okay. And now we can go get our beautiful little upgrade. Thank you. Tino ball. Blizzard's pretty rough. Wow. Yeah, let's get underground real quick. Let's get out of the cold, baby. Gather a little cobalt while we're just jerking around here. Pure ferrite carbon. data structures, huh? Those are the metal figures, yep. Oh, vortex cubes. A little more oxygen, that's sweet. We'll take that. And I hear some of those poisonous plants around, those little... At least I think I do. Maybe not. Alright, so let's gather up some of this stuff. Wow. We'll grab up some cobalt and all this other good stuff. That's yeah, two stuck together, isn't it? Yep. Pure ferrite and cobalt. As much as I play this game, and like I just got done doing the live stream, right? So I'm filming this episode right after that. We had a good time with Mike and Andre and Hobbit and everybody stopping by. Good times as always. Um, hunting Sentinel ships, so that was a lot of fun. And it's really inspired me to this character. I want to make this character, you know, like I said from the beginning, I want to be like a pirate kind of guy. A little nomad, you know, so it's kind of like the perfect update for him. because it's going to require a lot of bad stuff to be done <laughs> to make money since we're not going to have the usual avenues of doing it. We're going to have to be killing pirates, attacking capital ships, running stolen goods, and, and you know, 
just do generally things that are not exactly legal. So hopefully this run is uh, as fun as it sounds. But it is going to be a little tedious, I'll tell you that, because it's going to take some time to get things going. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. The storm's over. And the exit was... where? Oh, this way. Well, the drop pod was a nice little bonus. And it looks like we got another one of those uh, radiant things over this way, which is cool. Radiant pillars or crystals, whatever they're called. The sodium. A couple of them. Definitely a little more oxygen, so hey, can't go wrong with that. Alright, we got a radiant shard, baby. More to marry. Piece, I don't remember. It was definitely a decent amount. Hopefully we'll find one of those weird machines here too. That gives us the mirrors. Oh, we're going so slow. Here we go. Look at this down here. Oh! It's a radiant shard. Oh, living fragments. That was weird. We'll take the damage machinery. We'll take the fluids. Give us our nanites, please. This, we can do this. Oh, I thought I had the backpack uh, refiner. I don't. Should have we got berry tech over there, so let's go grab some berry tech while we're doing all this too. Let's give me all the shards. More oxygen. Thank you. Don't ever sleep on oxygen when you can get it. Especially if you're not, you know, like I'm doing here. I don't have the ability to farm it, so you can't buy it. There's really no easy way to get a hold of it unless you farm it, so... Let's see how many we get out of that. Two? Okay, well, it's better than nothing. In the beginning, it's always gather, gather, gather. Especially if you're doing something like this. It's just you gotta do what you gotta do in the beginning to get going. But I see one of those mirror things off in the distance. You can see it on the um, compass up top there, right next to the indicator for south. So that's cool. We're gonna head that way and get it. First, helps if you're using the right thing, I believe, right? Yeah, there's the machine. Lots of cool animals here. These weird hopping jellyfish like creatures. Oxygen. Alright. 
What? Don't come after me, bro. Did I accidentally hit you? Oh, he's on fire. Alright, well that was enough. No, the inventory was full. We didn't get what came. Oh, son of a... Alright, we're gonna have to roll. Let him hunt me down. Damn it. I screwed up. What are those? Mutant plants. I have never seen that before. Have you guys seen these before? Sulfurine. Those are wild looking, man. Look at them. I have no way to hold sulfurine right now, otherwise I would wipe them out, but man, they're cool looking. That's something. That's got to be new. You guys seen this before? Have you seen this before this update or anything? I mean, that's crazy looking. Alright, so we can do some stuff here. Let's go ahead and throw our refiner down real quick and let's process some stuff. So. First things we'll do the radiant shards, we almost full up on them. And they give us what? Let's get the radio condensed here. Um Okay, yeah. Four hundred and fifty. So fifty a pop. Not the best, but hey, that's decent, right? That's almost a whole uh S class upgrade. A couple more and we've got it. So that frees up a little bit of space. This is all we have in Atlantidium? That's crazy. Oh yeah, it turns into Pug Man. I keep forgetting. Alright, let's see what else we got here that we can get rid of. Uh, maybe this stuff. Yeah. We'll throw the Pugnium in. It didn't take much. Alright, let's give ourselves a little O2. And now we have two spots open, so wonderful. Put that down there. This down here. Yeah, there's no point in sorting all this crap right now. Alright. Sulfurine, huh? Alright, I want to find another one of those mining machines, the Dissonant Miner, or whatever it's called. And we're going to need to find a place to warm up here in a minute too. Too bad there's no mechanic in this game like uh like you see that fire over there, you know, like that would provide warmth or something. A bit very tech. I'll take it. I'll take this as well. There we go. Now we can recover a little bit. Alright, so we got a scanner module. Let's put that in and see what it does. So. Oh, wow. So we'll get a lot more money now. A bigger scan radius and a lot more money for flora, minerals, and fauna.
harmonic scrap. Oh, I think that's... I think that's good stuff. I think that's the stuff you find in the camp, right? We're about to find out. Well, this might end up being a decent little run anyway. I know it's basically just a gathering uh, type thing, but hey, it's what you got to do sometimes in this game. And Go out there and try to maximize your time. You know, in 30 minutes we got quite a bit. Made some nanites. Oh, it's just one of these. A rusted metal. Big deal. Bring our ship down. Just a couple more radiant shards, real quick. And we'll refine them down, real quick. Or another hundred nanites. Technology At least they go quick. I never taken off for the next system. I definitely want to hit a pirate system up because I want to do want to have a little fun in the next episode. So that'll be one warp. Whoa! 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 What's going on here? Got a whole fleet popping in around us. Good lord. Alright, so anyways, like I was saying before, you know, the whole freaking trade fleet showed up. Let's go hit up another system, try to find a pirate system. Because I definitely want to do some pirate stuff again. That was fun. And it's a great way to make a few bucks fairly quickly, all things considered. My second choice will be a good Corvex system. Oh, there we go. Viking pirate system. No dissonant planets, but that's okay. We'll at least go to the space station. Upgrade our uh, suit and see what kind of missions they're offering run some missions on the next episode and see what we can get out of this, so... Perfect. Just what I wanted. There you are. Space Outlaw. It's a pretty big fleet, too. Wait to nab a good uh, Sentinel ship or a good uh, capital ship. I want the Sentinel Dreadnought for this character since we're going to be getting a whole bunch of Sentinel ships. And that's pretty much exclusively what we're going to get. So that's something to think about. All right. Crappy looking gun. Not even worth paying attention to. Little suit upgrade. 50 grand. Oof, it's getting expensive. But 
We're still close to six million. Salvage dealer, salvage or salvage dealer. All right. Oh, caster scanner, cyclotron, and we got a good ship just landed, didn't we? Look at that. Well, I am not collecting this type of ship, but here you go. If you want it, come and get it. There are the coordinates once again. Not a bad looking ship by any stretch of the imagination. And let's see what it's costing, just out of curiosity. At least for this one. At least you have a ballpark. $33 million. So, woof. That's pricey. But yeah, pretty ship. Pretty ship. Alright. Good luck with that guy. Yeah. Breath of the Kayama. Alright, back to what we were doing. You play this game long enough, you know what the sounds of the different ships are. Alright, my focus is on a warp module. And we do not have one. Which is not surprising. But, you know, it's worth a check. Now let's check the bounties. Band weapon, storm crystal, sentinel boundaries, teleport coordinators. Huh. Well, we do some capital ship fighting and whatnot in the next episode. That'll work. I'll hang out with this guy again. Alright, guys, well. Thanks for dropping by, everybody. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. We're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Nomad Sky. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, and don't forget to, uh, you know, leave a comment on the video. Let me know if you're coming by for the ship. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.